Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton and I'm the host of the Staying Healthy Today Show. Today's show topic is, is intravenous vitamin C life-saving in the treatment of sepsis? Now you might not think or worry about sepsis or think it's a big deal. Well, it is a big deal. It's $20 billion a year in healthcare expense in the United States. It usually occurs in hospitals and intensive care units. It's about eighteen dollars to $20,000 a day. And some people, some celebrities you might know, just recently have died of sepsis. Muhammad Ali, Christopher Reeves, Patty Duke, Pope John Paul II. And I'm sure they had the best medical care in the world, but I'm, I'll be willing to bet they weren't offered a simple intravenous vitamin C that has been shown now at the, at the Commonwealth University of Virginia to have benefit in reducing the sepsis scores in the ICU and preventing and reducing the risk to sepsis. I'm, I recently have interviewed a Dr. Ramesh Natarajan from the Commonwealth University of Virginia and also Alpha Fowler, I've done him in print, and those two colleagues, among others, and especially Dr. Fowler, has been studying sepsis and intravenous vitamin C. And they have done several studies and two pilot studies. One is on the mechanisms of how vitamin C work and how to assess it. The other is on a pilot study of using intravenous vitamin C between 3.5 and 14 grams intravenously divided into four doses around the clock and you cover up the vitamin C with dark tubing and, and a dark IV bag to prevent oxidation and they've shown benefit. This is dramatic. This is a simple $50 a vial solution and it can have a profound effect on a life-threatening illness. So not only saving lives, but saving lots of money. So I encourage you to listen to my podcast I just did with Dr. Ramesh Natarajan and there's a link there to my interview uh, with Dr. Fowler in print. Um, there's references, links to the references about both their research papers. But this is very exciting and these two speakers will actually be an, a conference in September of this year, which I've also done an interview with Dr. Drisco on intravenous vitamin C being used for cancer and intravenous vitamin C using for sepsis and possibly other acute illnesses. This is a paradigm shift because vitamin C is very cheap but it may have profound effects beyond most any drugs. So my name is Kirk Hamilton. This is the Staying Healthy Today show. Please go to my website, stayinghealthytoday.com. You can see the podcast I had with Dr. Natarajan. Um, it will be uploaded to iTunes. It will be on my website. There will be links. You have a fabulous day. And share this with your healthcare provider. This is really important. And I'll talk to you soon.